on guys today I'm going to show you how you can uh, use the Steam uh, in-home streaming service if you're wondering what that is it allows you to play your uh, Steam library anywhere in your household using your network as long as you have a second device that can connect to Steam it doesn't matter if it's a, a low-end computer or like a you know Steam box whatever what we're going to do is we're actually going to be playing the game on a laptop a crappy laptop in the living room but before we get started there I'm just going to show you how to enable this in Steam you're going to go up to your Steam bar and go to settings and then here you'll see a beta participation and there'll be a little drop down box and you click on that and you click on the Steam beta update hit OK save it it'll ask you to restart Steam and let it restart then you go to your second device like your laptop and do the same thing you install Steam make sure that you opt in for the beta and then launch Steam on that device well we're gonna go ahead and go into the living room and get on the laptop and I'll show you how this works okay so here we are in the living room we've got our laptop set up right here and I've got a little HDMI cable running into the TV so that we can get the PC games on TV and you'll see I actually have Steam already installed go ahead and launch Steam now normally what I could do is click on a game like Counter-Strike here and click stream. But since we're using the controller and we're in the living room, I'm going to launch it in big picture mode. Somewhere it's playing a console and we can access my library. I have a bunch of different games we can try. Let's do Left 4 Dead 2. Okay, it says stream, so we're going to do that. This is not a high-end laptop. Uh, let's see, Intel Core i3, okay. Basically if you have a computer that can do uh, H.264 decoding, so if you have a computer that's good enough to watch high-end streams on uh, Twitch, then you should be able to do this. So naturally there is a little bit of an input delay. The newer your router, the less input delay that you have. And also when you first start a game up like this, there will be a little bit of input delay. But the longer you play it, the, it tends to go away as it optimizes the uh, codec. 59 frames a second, pretty much locked. You can play any high-end game that your computer can run. You can play it on any PC in your household. I know some people are hesitant on buying next-gen consoles, especially if you already have a gaming PC. This is one solution that you could use if you have an existing laptop or maybe a crappy old computer that you never use anymore. Um, if it's something that you're interested in but you don't have a spare computer, you can build really, really cheap basic PCs. You don't need a video card. You don't really need it much of a system at all. You could probably build a computer for around $200 or less or you could actually probably buy a cheap Dell off Craigslist for like 50 bucks. There's a ton of different solutions or like I said if you already have a laptop that's probably the best way. Uh, that about sums it up guys. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a shot. And let me know what you think.